Good evening and welcome to the final session of the 2020 Virtual International Moose Convention. Seems like just yesterday that we opened this convention. Well, now that I think about it, I guess we did. We've covered a lot of ground in the past 36 hours, but have an exciting and informative session ahead for you tonight. I would like to thank everyone for a sensational year as your Supreme Governor. It has been my privilege and honor to represent this great fraternity throughout these unsettling times. We've made it tonight by working together for the good of the moose, and I have no doubt that greater things are to come. These greater things will be made possible because of our combined strength as one moose. I'm pleased to announce to you that the Supreme Council agreed to extend the contract of Director General Scott Hart, and he will lead us in the One Moose program. Moose on a Mission 2020. At this time, I would like to call upon General Governor Mike Luer for the election of officers. Thank you, Supreme Governor Hammond. Since all candidates nominated are unopposed, the rules and order governing this convention, as well as our order's general laws, provides that the secretary may cast a unanimous ballot for all offices, provided a majority vote is received from the voting members in attendance. Brother Supreme Governor Hammond, the nominees are officers of the Supreme Lodge for Supreme Councilman for a four-year term, Mark J. K. Penscover, Muskego, Wisconsin, Lodge 1057. John R. Sipes, Galleon, Ohio, Lodge 303. Brian Toski, Muncie Valley, Pennsylvania, Lodge 866. Kirk G. Shep, Williston, North Dakota, Lodge 239. For Supreme Prelate, for a one year term, Bruce T. Massapus, Lodi, New Jersey, Lodge 1971. For Junior Governor, for a one year term, Paul W. Curtis, Camus Washugal, Washington, Lodge 1042. Let's go racing. For Supreme Governor for a one year term, Bruce J. Berger, Sellersville, Pennsylvania, Lodge 1539. Brothers, I have accepted a motion by Charlie Geary administrator of Lando Lakes, Florida Lodge, number 1903, and seconded by Freddie Rich, Jr., administrator of Hobart, Indiana Lodge, number 783, to order the secretary to cast a unanimous ballot for all officers just read. I ask all registered delegates to register their vote electronically by visiting www.mooseintl.org homepage and scroll down to the program events and click onto the virtual convention graphic. There you'll find the de delegate voting tab. As a reminder, you will need to enter your last name and your Moose member ID number before casting your vote. If you are viewing the live pr presentation on a desktop computer, laptop, tablet, or smart TV, you can follow the same instructions on your smartphones so that you do not have to leave the presentation to vote. 
The general governor will now read the listing of Supreme Governor appointments and Moose International officers for the Moose year 2020-2021. Thank you, Supreme Governor Hammond. The Supreme Governor appointments and Moose International officers for the year 2021 are read to this convention as a matter of record. To the Supreme Forum for a one-year term as Chief Justice, Robbie B. Robertson, Jr., Lynchburg, Virginia, Lodge 715. For a seven-year term, Larry Janice, Tonkanic, Pennsylvania, Lodge 1276. To the Judiciary Committee for a two-year term, Sandra E. Richards, Meridian, Mississippi, Chapter 1441. To the Moose Legion Council for a one-year term as President, John F. Pro, Lakes Washington, Lodge 1865. For a one-year term as Vice President, Dan O'Neill, Orlando, Florida, Lodge 766. For a one-year term as Junior Past President, Keith C. Miser, Yuma, Arizona, Lodge 1627. For a two-year term as Moose Legion Councilman, Charles L. Barber, Sunnyvale, California, Lodge 2049. Robert H. Shaw, Greensboro, North Carolina, Lodge 685. To the Heart of the, to the, heart of the Community Committee, for a two-year term, Ronald D. Houston, Louisville, Kentucky, Lodge 5. Roger DeVille, Wilsonville, Oregon, Lodge 1598. To the Government Relations Committee for a two-year term, Bessie Staub Hickman, Newark, Delaware, Chapter 705. To the Activities Committee for a two-year term, Leanna Miller, Elkhart, Indiana, Chapter 73. Joseph M. Surwa, Batavia, Illinois, Lodge 682. Brian K. Sekafetz, Iowa City, Iowa, Lodge 1096. George Kroniger, Jr., McSherrystown, Pennsylvania, Lodge 720. To the Communications Committee for a two-year term as Chairman, Chairwoman, Joan D. Fedora, Mandarin, Florida, Chapter 1218. For a two-year term, Gayla McLaughlin, Aransas Pass, Texas, Chapter 1972. To the Loss Prevention Committee for a two-year term as chairman, Fred R. Scott, Jr., West Boca Raton, Florida, Lodge 204. For a two-year term, Kelvin Parker, Lindsay, Ontario, Lodge 659. Board of Directors to the Moose Heart Board of Directors for a one-year term as chairman, Harry L. Johnson, Greeley, Evans, Colorado, Lodge 909. For one year term, Brian Chu, Lexington, Ohio, Lodge 2511. Rebecca Hofarth, Richland, Washington, Chapter 1377. To the Moose Charities Board of Directors, for a one year term, William Cutter, Thompsonville, Connecticut, Lodge 1525. Don Macklin, Tallahassee, Florida, Chapter 1103. Chief Financial Officer, Joseph R. Meck, Downers Grove, Illinois, 1535. General Governor, myself, Michael Lure, Moosehart, Illinois, Lodge 2655. Director of Membership, Michael A. Rios, Jr., Suffolk, Virginia, Lodge 141. To the Pilgrim Council, for a one-year term as Pilgrim Governor, James K. Fleming, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Lodge 174. Director General, Scott D. Hart, Moosehart, Illinois, Lodge 2655. Supreme Sergeant at Arms for a one year term, Arthur Patzer, North Glen, Colorado, Lodge 2166. Supreme Inner Guard for a one year term, Walter L. McAmer, Gulf Cove, Florida, Lodge 2554. And Supreme Outer Guard for a one year term, Sean Bale, Chickies Rock, Pennsylvania, Lodge 307. Supreme Governor Hammond. Thank you, General Governor Luer. We will now call on Director of Membership Mike Rios to present the report of the Membership Department 
the Top Association Award, and the Premier Lodge Award winners. I want you Florida guys to pay attention, and when a Florida Lodge is called, I want to hear a yay all the way up here. Thank you, Brother Supreme Governor. <clears throat> Thank you, Brother Supreme Governor. Greetings, Moose family. I, too, wish to welcome you to the 2020 Virtual International Convention. This is the point where I usually recognize first-time attendees, but I guess it's essentially the first time for all of us in this virtual setting. So let's get right to it. Last year, the Five Club sponsored an initiative to support Moose Hearts 4-H and equestrian programs for our Moose Heart children and for those participating in county fairs. Plans were to purchase a new show horse, equestrian attire, and tack, and two gator-type utility vehicles to be used around the farm. The efforts of the men, women, and the Moose Legion, with the support of the associations, provided much-needed equipment in support of our children at Moose Heart. As of April 30th, 2020, 2,647 Loom members, 157 Moose Legionnaires, and 2,014 Women of the Moose members raised a total of $24,090 toward this project. You helped make this happen, and we appreciate all that you do to sign members in support of the Moose. If you were one of our Five Club members last year, thank you. This year's Five Club project is support Moose, Moose Haven by providing golf carts to transport our Moose Haven seniors. Plans are to purchase a new golf cart to be used around campus. Contributions are courtesy of your association, the Women of the Moose, and the Moose Legion. For the past two years, in order to promote membership production and retention, we conducted several regional membership workshops. The feedback remains positive, and we're working on scheduling several more in the near future. Your lodge and associations will be notified as to the dates and times, and we encourage you to take advantage of this free resource that can help you develop a plan of action for your fraternal unit. At this time, we'd like to acknowledge some outstanding brothers who did a great job signing members last year. If you know them, please shake their hand for me, or at least bump elbows, and offer thanks and congratulations. Normally, we'd only acknowledge the top five sponsors, but this year, we'd like to acknowledge a member that came in sixth place, sponsoring over 100 members, actually 104. That's Brother, brother Freddie Stamper from the Miamisburg, Ohio Lodge, 1645. In fifth place, with 120 applications from the Bennett's Florida Lodge, 1308, Brother Kenneth Brennick, with 15 more than last year's fifth place winner. In fourth place, with 135 applications from the Palmetto Florida Lodge, 2117, Brother Jeff Johnston, with 27 more than last year's fourth place winner. In third place, with 158 applications from the Anna Marie Island Florida Lodge, 2188, Brother Byron Dalton Sr. with 48 more than last year's third place winner. In second place again this year with 164 applications from the Daytona Beach Florida Lodge 1263, Brother Jack Rafool. And last but not least, our first place top sponsor for the 2019-2020 Create Our Future membership campaign with 181 applications is Brother Jerry Burgess from the Apache Junction, Arizona Lodge 2039. Thank you to all of our top sponsors for your commitment to the growth of our beloved fraternity. During the 2019-2020 Create Our Future campaign, we had the same number of 100 member sponsors from last year, which was six. Our 75 member sponsors decreased by three from 13 to 10, and our 50 member sponsors showed a decrease of 10 from 40 to 30 compared to last year. We had 36 less who sponsored 25 last year than compared to 2018-19 for a total of 142 sponsors. Every year, we're proud to acknowledge our all-time top active sponsors in the Loyal Order of Moose as reflected in our records on April 30th, 2020. Again at number five this year, sponsoring 1,450 members is Brother Jim Monroe of the Salina, Ohio Lodge, 1473. Holding on to the number four position, sponsoring 1,466 members, 
is Brother Randy Shives of the Chambersburg, Pennsylvania Lodge 842. Maintaining the number three position, sponsoring 1,849 members is Brother William Price of the Salisbury, Maryland Lodge 654. Remaining in the number two position, sponsoring 2,419 members is Brother Jack Rafoe of the Daytona Beach, Florida Lodge 1263. And the number one all-time member sponsor is still Brother Ed Porky Strong of the Chelsea, Massachusetts Lodge 736 who has sponsored 2,424 members into the Loyal Order of Moose. Brothers, we thank you and know that you'll continue to lead by example and help us to increase our membership. Last year, we dropped 80,137 members from our rolls. We signed 67,931, which is 7,069 short of our goal of 75,000, but we dropped 80,137 members. Once again, no reason for them to stay is a good reason for them to go. We're very proud and appreciative of the accomplishments of our dedicated field staff members who work with you on a daily basis. The primary function is to assist in the building of our membership to improve the fraternal and business operations of our lodges, promote the Moose mission to our membership, and together foster a stronger and enduring loyal ward of Moose. Managed by Dave Smoot, Assistant Director, Field Operations, these individuals are in the field on a daily basis working to grow our fraternity. We'd like to recognize outstanding territory managers who have excelled in leadership and membership production and retention within their territories and re have received the Top Manager Award for 2019-2020. They are Bob Sandone, Southeast Region, Jim Beffert in the Great Lakes Region, and Andrew Bordley in our West Coast region. Thank you, brothers, for your leadership and dedication. And we are very fortunate to have that one person who brings everything together and provide the support and guidance necessary in order to make things work. That person is our Assistant Director of Membership, Kim Thompson, and we appreciate everything that she does to keep us going in the right direction. Thank you, Kim. Also, from time to time, we solicit assistance from the dedicated and qualified volunteers to assist us when the need arises. These individuals are designated as assistant territory managers and are vital to the continued success of the field staff. Thank you for your help. We appreciate you. Unfortunately, we lost a valuable member of our team this year, Pilgrim Brother Don Sartar, who was a financial review specialist. Brother Don was an integral part of the field staff team and a great Moose member. He will be missed by many, and our thoughts and prayers remain with his family. May you rest in peace. Traditionally, the membership department has provided the yearly campaign theme along with materials to help promote membership. Our new 2020-2021 campaign is One Moose. We realize the importance of men and women working together as one. I believe that we work best when we do it together. Therefore, One Moose proclaims that we're committed to work together as one despite our differences, especially gender. One Moose is more than just a campaign slogan. It's how we need to approach our mission in order to be successful and continue to create our future. So, how did our associations do last year? Overall, we had two associations who had an increase in production versus last year's campaign, and they are, number two, the New York State Moose Association with an increase of 20 applications, and number one, the Alabama Moose Association with an increase of 34 applications. Our top five reporting associations this year, the Pennsylvania Moose Association came in at number five reporting 4,945 applications. At number four, the California Nevada Moose Association with 5,231 applications reported. Again this year at number three, the Virginia Moose Association with 5,506 applications reported. And once again this year at number two, the Ohio State Moose Association reporting 6,534 applications. And our top reporting association remains the Florida Moose Association with a total of 12,532 applications. Brothers, we appreciate your hard work and dedication to growing our membership. 
There were only two associations who finished with a plus one this past year, and they were Colorado with a plus 10 and Missouri Northern Kansas with a plus 116. Congratulations to these associations for their efforts in maintaining and producing membership. Last year, a total of 414 lodges met their membership goals. Our top five reporting lodges again last year were number five, Indian Lake, Ohio, 1533, with 439 applications. Once again this year at number four, Miamisburg, Ohio, 1645, with 515 applications. Number three, Venice, Florida, 1308, with 587 applications. Again this year at number two, Inglewood, Florida, 1933, with 982 applications. And our top reporting lodge this year remains Anna Marie Island, Florida, 2188, with 1,346 total applications. The top association program ranks associations in several categories. Here are the top performing associations in each category. The association with the top score and percentage of change in active membership is the Missouri Northern Kansas Moose Association. In the category of percentage of active members qualifying as preferred members, the top reporting association is once again this year the Colorado Moose Association. And again this year, the Alabama Moose Association received the top score for having the highest percentage of members who are Moose Legionnaires. The Mississippi Moose Association produced the highest per capita contribution, averaging $22 last year. At the top of the chart in the category of percentage of lodges receiving the Premier Lodge Award is the Missouri Northern Kansas Moose Association with 56% last year. In the, in the category of membership retention percentage, the Iowa Eastern Nebraska Moose Association led the way at 81.3%. And now, for the moment you all have been waiting for, the announcement of the top associations for 2019-2020. The membership department has distributed the 2020-2021 criteria for this prestigious award. It should be noted that there's been a change for those associations who have become a joint association with the Women of the Moose. There are many individuals that work diligently to help their associations compete for this award, and their efforts are very much appreciated. This year's top five association winners are, fifth place with 187 points, the Texas Moose Association. Fourth place with 199 points, the Colorado Moose Association. Third place with 203 points, my home association, the Virginia Moose Association. Second place with 210 points, the Missouri Northern Kansas Moose Association. And the association with 215 points overall and the new top association winner is the Iowa Eastern Nebraska Moose Association. Congratulations to the members of the Iowa Eastern Nebraska Moose Association. We appreciate your hard work and we're very proud of your accomplishment. We'll be sure to get the top association banner delivered to your territory manager or liaison, Jim Beffert, for an appropriate in-person presentation along with regional manager, Darrell O'Brien. Brothers and coworkers, we have an opportunity to take advantage of what's going on in the world and prove how relevant the moose is to our communities. We can turn a negative into a positive. If our communities have faith in our ability to serve, they'll be inclined to join in order to support our mission and make this world a better place. To assist with our membership production efforts, the Supreme Council, Grand Council, and Moose Legion Council have all agreed that no application fee will be required from the Loom Women of the Moose or Moose Legion beginning July 1st through September 30th, 2020. Also, there will not be an increase in membership dues or ABCD as previously announced. This gives us a great opportunity to aggressively address membership deficits at the beginning of the campaign year. More members fuel a stronger fraternity. Please assist and support your lodge, chapter, and moose legion with in-house production and retention initiatives. 
you know, I look forward to routine travels and continuing to visit lodges in the fraternity, and I look forward to visiting you with a, a, in a lodge real soon. But in closing, I would like to offer this thought. What unites us makes us stronger than what divides us. We are one moose. Thank you, Brother Supreme Governor. This concludes the report of the membership department. And back again. Now we'll do the Premier Lodge Award. This award is the most sought after award for every Moose Lodge. It's the highest honor a lodge can earn, and it takes hard work and dedication to attain. Today I can tell you that 269 lodges can be very proud of this accomplishment, and of those 269, 25 lodges have earned this award for the very first time since its inception 13 years ago. These numbers represent an increase by 12 recipients from last year and an increase by nine for the first time recipients. No lodge has ever earned this award every year since the program began. Criteria for the 2020-2021 Premier Lodge Award has been provided to all lodges in our official communications. Changes were announced which consist of the per capita total giving to Moose Charities increased by 29 cents from $8.76 to $9.05. As a reminder, individual donor circle and youth awareness donations continue to be included in the Lodge overall giving total. If the Lodge earns a Premier Lodge Award, the Lodge Governor and Lodge Administrator can qualify for the Leadership Award. To those Governors and Administrators that qualified, you can be proud of the job you did in making your Lodge a success. We'd like to congratulate the 115 Governors and 135 Administrators who qualified for the Leadership Award. Criteria was also provided for the 2020-2021 Leadership Award to all lodges in our official communications. If qualified, governors and administrators will receive 100,000 Moose reward points. If your lodge is not among the 269 Premier Lodge Award recipients announced today and you feel that the lodge should have qualified to receive this award, you may request by email to have the lodge's award eligibility reviewed. Request for the review must be received on or before Thursday, July 16, 2020. If your lives did earn the award, but you were not listed as earning the leadership award, you'll also need to have the decision reviewed. Appeals should be sent to Assistant Director Kim Thompson in the membership department at kthompson at mooseintl.org. Email requests for review must be sent from the lodge's official mooseunits.org email address, and a response will be made only to that email address. Supporting documentation must accompany all requests for review of Premier Lodge Award eligibility. Please remember, not obtaining plus one in membership is non-negotiable. For those lodges announced as Premier Lodge Award recipients this evening, congratulations. Your distinct Premier Lodge Award plaque for the first time recipients and or your medallion for repeat recipients will be shipped to your respective association liaison to be presented at your annual association convention or if necessary, a lodge or district meeting. I'll be joined in announcing this year's Premier Lodge Award recipients by Director General Scott Hart. All right, here we go. We are proud to announce the names of the lodges earning the 2019-2020 Premier Lodge Award. First time qualifier. No, they're not. I think they've, they've been it before. Franconia, Virginia, 1076. Ridgeway, Pennsylvania, 1183. Ebbets Pass, California, 1123. Fort Pierce, Florida, 248. Rockville, Maryland, 1540. Williamsburg, Virginia, 757. Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 444. Union, Missouri, 1745. McClenney, Florida, 2412. New Martinsville, West Virginia, 931. Longmont, Colorado, 1548. St. Petersburg, Florida, 1145. Joliet, Illinois, Lodge 300. Elkton, Maryland, 851. Newport, Ritchie, Florida, 1747. 
Old Bridge, New Jersey, 485. Dublin, Virginia, 2360. North Port, Florida, 764. First time qualifier, Edwardsville, Illinois, 1561. Sydney, Montana, 856. Timberville, Virginia, 2335. Kirksville, Missouri, 1751. Verona, Pennsylvania, 250. Wilmington, North Carolina, 343. Urbana, Ohio, 1215. Wakala County, Florida, 2510. Otsego, Michigan, 345. Mandan, North Dakota, 425. Bluffton, Indiana, 242. Seaford, Delaware, 1728. Winder, Georgia, 262. First time qualifier, Trenton, Ohio, 330. Jonesboro, Arkansas, 1729. Maysville, Kentucky, 1124. Farmville, Virginia, 968. Independence, Missouri, 2414. Bedford, Virginia, 1897. South Greenville, South Carolina, 749. Gulfgate, Florida, 608. Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, 2500. Lexington, Missouri, 1161. Jacksonville, Florida, 455. Patuxent, Maryland, 2393. Holly, Michigan, 1168. First time qualifier, Sandwich, Illinois, 1016. Newark, wait, Newark, Ohio, 499. Lakewood, New York, 2587. Speedway, Indiana, 500. West Monroe, Louisiana, 1723. Beachville, Pennsylvania, 609. Nassau, Florida, 2352. First time qualifier, Oroville, California, 519. Great Falls, Montana, 532. Malvern, Arkansas, 2365. Auburn, Indiana, 566. Lake Wales, Florida, 2391. Woodstock, Virginia, 575. Dover, New Hampshire, 443. Montrose, Virginia, 2333. Fort Myers, Florida, 1899. Woodbridge, Virginia, 583. Lapeer, Michigan, 2433. Washington County, Virginia, 1966. Belfont, Pennsylvania, 206. First time qualifier, Rolla, Missouri, 587. Ogdensburg, New York, 814. Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, 596. Aragona Village, Virginia, 1198. Savannah, Georgia, 1550. Manchester, Richmond, Virginia, 699. First time qualifier, Ironton, Ohio, 701. Middlesex, Virginia, 2401. Palmer, Alaska, 793. Pahrump, Nevada, 808. First time qualifier, Newport, North Carolina, 2194. Pasadena, Texas, 1721. Front Royal, Virginia, 829. Canton, Pennsylvania, 429. Cambridge, Maryland, 1211. Lexington, Ohio, 2511. Portsmouth, Virginia, 898. Newton, Iowa, 923. Sanford, Michigan, 2519. Mechanicsville, Maryland, 495. Ocala Forest, Florida, 2535. Finley, Ohio, 698. East Sussex, Delaware, 2542. First time qualifier, Kaiser, West Virginia, 662. Hampton, Virginia, 1514. Vincennes, Indiana, 281. 
Bell Fountain, Ohio, 25-63. Anchorage, Alaska, 15-34. Franklin, West Virginia, 7-69. Fort Mill, South Carolina, 12-40. Mitchell, South Dakota, 8-75. Thompsonville, Connecticut, 15-25. Marathon, Florida, 10-58. Winchester, Virginia, 1283. Buena Park, California, 1945. Indian Lake, Ohio, 1533. Lando Lakes, Florida, 1903. First time qualifier, Middletown, Pennsylvania, Lodge 410. Brownsville, Tennessee, 2222. Worthington, Ohio, 1427. Medford, Oregon, 178. Big Pine Key, Florida, 1585. Appomattox, Virginia, 975. Gulf Cove, Florida, 2554. Carlinville, Illinois, 1216. Helena, Montana, 639. Waltham, Massachusetts, 1018. Calio, Virginia, 917. Bradenton, Florida, 1223. Ames, Iowa, 520. Calumet Ridge, Indiana, 1258. A first time qualifier, Chester, Illinois, 1764. Oak Island, North Carolina, 2059. Smith County, Virginia, 1004. Wilson, North Carolina, 989. Marionette, Wisconsin, 23. 27. Dubuque, Iowa, 355. Middleburg, Pennsylvania, 1229. St. Charles, Missouri, 1513. Louisville, Kentucky, Lodge number 5. Lake City, Florida, 624. Duncan, Oklahoma, 2202. First time qualifier, Conneaut, Ohio, 472. Muskego, Wisconsin, 1057. Batavia, Illinois, 682. Richmond, East Virginia, 1947. Springdale, Arkansas, 877. Vienna, Virginia, 1896. Montpelier, Ohio, 312. North Manchester, Indiana, 1518. And to continue on, Morlala, Oregon, 1277. Paducah, Kentucky, 285. St. Albans, West Virginia, 868. Waynesboro, Virginia, 1309. First time qualifier, Pekin, Illinois, 916. Bloomer, Wisconsin, 1077. Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 304. Perrysburg, Virginia, 1338. San Xavier, Arizona, 1964. Evansburg, Pennsylvania, 681. Ridgewood, New York, 1642. Bloomington, Indiana, 1081. Rutland, Vermont, 1122. Houghton Lake, Michigan, 1616. Adams, Indiana, 1311. Norwood, Ohio, 301. Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts, 1849. Perth Amboy, New Jersey, 1360. Litchfield, Illinois, 1634. Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1517. Brunswick, New Jersey, 263. Hillsboro, Illinois, 1377. Iowa City, Iowa, 1096. Munising, Michigan, 1386. Palmetto, Florida, 2117. Luray, Virginia, 1413. Houghton City, Texas, 1889. South Phoenix, Arizona, 2072. Brewster, Ohio, 1102. And Withville, Virginia, 394. Albany, Georgia, 1285. Wilsonville, Oregon, 1598. Venice, Florida, 1308. Woodbury, New Jersey, 2585. Mandarin, Florida, 42. Defiance, Ohio, 2094. South Hill, Virginia, 1872. 
Gridley, California, 1594, and Northfield, Ohio, 2156. Crawfordsville, Indiana, Lodge number six. Parkersburg, West Virginia, 1118. Port Jefferson, New York, 1379. Sarnia, Ontario, 1046. Greeley Evans, Colorado, 909. Rockingham, North Carolina, 1838. Portage, Pennsylvania, 131. Covington, Virginia, 610. Flora, Illinois, 1384. Inverness, Florida, 2112. Kansas City, Kansas, 1999. Westside, Louisiana, 2007. Johnson City, Tennessee, 1831. Piney River, Virginia, 2032. Arcadia, Florida, 1327. Palm Harbor, Florida, 433. Annapolis, Maryland, 296. Xenia, Ohio, 1629. Raynell, West Virginia, 1647. Hilliard, Ohio, 2236. Lacey, New Jersey, 1907. Floyd, Virginia, 2300. Delton, Michigan, 1649. Sebring, Florida, 2259. Sellersville, Pennsylvania, 1539. Madison, Indiana, 765. Belaine, New Mexico, 1680. Berryville, Virginia, 2139. Chatham, Ontario, 1692. West Nashville, Tennessee, 2221. Waldorf, Maryland, 1709. Punta Gorda, Florida, 1693. Marion, North Carolina, 1705. Marietta, Ohio, 1823. Brook Neal, Virginia, 1507. Anderson, Indiana, 150. Westchester, California, 1780. O'Fallon, Illinois, 2608. Lewiston, California, 1850. Inglewood, Florida, 1933. Willard Firelands, Ohio, 2153. Warner Robins, Georgia, 1688. Pacifica, California, 1944. Dale City, Virginia, 2165. Bel Air, Maryland, 1952. Chillicothe, Ohio, 1626. Sanford, Florida, 1851. Capital City, Iowa, 2589. Corey, Pennsylvania, 98. Louisa County, Virginia, 2065. Stockdale, California, 2178. Marysville, Pennsylvania, 107. Smyrna, Clayton, Delaware, 2046, first time qualifier. East Palestine, Ohio, 467. Zephyr Hills, Florida, 2276. Topsail Island, North Carolina, 2061. North Reading, Massachusetts, 1511. Tonawanda, New York, 2163. Stafford, Virginia, 2215. Sunnyvale, California, 2049. Sedalia, Missouri, 1494. West Bend, Wisconsin, 1398. Harrison, Ohio, 2633. North Glen, Colorado, 2166. And Bassett, Virginia, 383. Greater Durham, North Carolina, 2045. Lincoln County, Missouri, 2599. Verona, Virginia, 2172. Easley, South Carolina, 2219. Warwick, Virginia, 1711. Vero Beach, Florida, 1822. Churchville, New York, 2244. Tappahannock, Warsaw, Virginia, 2133. Vacaville, California, 1967. Lewisburg, North Carolina, 2256. Yuba City, California, 1204. Lafferty, Ohio, 1462. Montgomery County, Virginia, 1470. North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, 1781. Grand Prairie, Texas, 1818. Buchanan, Virginia, 2182. Dunellen, Florida, 2308. Clinton, Iowa, 363. Troy, Ohio, 2695. Pismo Beach, California, 1409. Blue Ridge, Virginia, 2135. Tipton, Indiana, 1590. Lexington, Tennessee, 2091. Carpentersville, Illinois, 1958. South Norfolk, Virginia, 464. Pittston, Pennsylvania, 1207. Leisure City, Florida, 2258. 
in Alta Vista, Virginia, 1433. Lakeshore, Florida, 2020. Mint Canyon, California, 2173. Powhatan, Virginia, 1840. Congratulations to all of our winners. Thank you, Brother Mike. Congratulations to all those lodges earning this distinctive award. If you are a lodge officer, we ask that you commit yourself to earning this award by being a Premier Lodge Award in 2021. We will now call on the Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, Jim Brewer, to present the report of the Judiciary Committee. Greetings, my brothers. It is an honor to be here to report on the Judiciary Committee to Supreme Governor Hammond, Director General Hart, Supreme Council, Supreme Lodge Officers, and my fellow brothers and delegates to this 132nd International Convention. I would first like to announce the members of the Judiciary Committee. Sandra Richards of Meridian, Mississippi, Chapter 1441, Walter Zawalski, Warner Robbins, Georgia Lodge, 1688, Pete Harrigan of Lindenhurst, New York Lodge, 1421, Donald Snovel of Palmer, Alaska Lodge, 793, and I am Jim Brewer of Lawrenceville, Illinois Lodge, 779. The Judiciary Committee did not have any appeals to consider this year. However, just like last year, we were kept busy reviewing the proposed amendments to the general laws. I am proud to report that the Judiciary Committee reviewed the proposed changes and submitted to the General Governor with a recommendation to accept. As we all had the opportunity to attend the information sessions on the proposed amendments to the general laws, I will not read the proposed amendments at this time. However, I will provide you with the result of the vote on the proposed changes. The total number of votes cast was 2,538. The total number of no votes was 594. The total number of yes votes was 1,944, which was a 76.60% of the vote. Yay! Thank you all. Brothers, I, along with the Judiciary Committee, thank you for your participation in this vote, and congratulations. Let's have another big cheer for that. <laughs> Brothers, I have accepted a motion by John Mangiantini, past governor of Pullman Washington Lodge 943, and seconded by Christopher Perry, past governor of Mountain Home, Arkansas Lodge, 1953, to approve the report of the Judiciary Committee. I ask all registered delegates to cast their vote electronically by visiting www.mooseintl.org homepage. Scroll down to the program events section and click on to the virtual convention graphic and you'll find the delegate voting tab. As a very last reminder, you will need to enter your last name and member ID number before casting your vote. If you are viewing the live presentation on a desktop computer, laptop, tablet, or smart TV, you can follow the same instructions on your smartphones so that you do not have to leave the presentation to vote. And now I call to the podium General Governor Mike Luer. Supreme Governor Hammond, as Corporate Secretary of Moose International, Inc., and to obey the order of this convention, just taken by majority action of the delegates assembled through an electronic vote, it is my pleasure to cast the unanimous ballot in favor of the nominees for the office of Supreme Councilman, Supreme Prelate, 
Supreme Junior Governor and Supreme Governor. Thank you, Mike. I declare the nominees for Supreme Lodge offices as read previously by the Secretary to be elected. Congratulations and welcome, welcome all of you. Brother Lure, you may now continue with the installation of officers. Thank you, Supreme Governor. This evening, we will install into office the dedicated men and women of the Moose who have been selected either by election, appointment, or by fraternal law to serve the order during the 2020-2021 year. The installation team will consist of Grand Chancellor Barb McPherson, Director General Scott Hart, and Junior Past Supreme Governor Harry Johnston. Grand Chancellor Barb McPherson, please begin our installation ceremony. Annually, a select number of co-workers are honored with the appointment to the position of Deputy Grand Regent. These dedicated co-workers represent in their territory the Grand Regent during her year in office and preside over the annual and mid-year conferences of the Women of the Moose and the annual convocation ceremony and the annual Academy of Friendship session. These honored co-workers have declared their loyalty to our program via a written signed oath of office. They have pledged to comply with the rules and regulations of the women of the moose, aid other coworkers when called upon, and will encourage fraternal increases in membership. I will announce the names of the coworkers who will serve in the position of Deputy Grand Regent for the 2020-2021 year term. For Alberta, Stephanie Stromquist. Alaska, Nora Bird. Alabama, Debbie Bradfield. Arkansas, Nancy Adams. Arizona, New Mexico, Patty Cavanaugh. British Columbia, Joan Marion. California, Nevada, Frankie Wysocki. Colorado, Deborah Kemp. Connecticut, Katherine Coppinger. Florida, Rhonda Shockley. Georgia, Ann Lazars. Iowa Eastern Nebraska, Betty Jo Monroe. Idaho, Utah, Deborah Tulsis. Illinois, Melody Kraft. Indiana, Jennifer Fry, Kentucky, Amy May, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Sue Ellen Lincoln, Marin, Maryland, Delaware, DC, Margaret Lee Miles, Michigan, Lorraine Fogelsong, Missouri, Northern Kansas, Dana Stouch, Missouri, Nelda Edwards, Montana, Carol Ott. North Carolina, Jill Crutchfield. For the Northeast, Sharon Nye. New Jersey, Angie Avramitis. New York, Dory Ray. Ohio, Mary Tassone. Oklahoma, Southern Kansas, Nicole Twyman. Ontario, Michelle Tomchishin, Oregon, Judith DeVille, Pennsylvania, Imelda Redding, South Carolina, Mary Louise Keating, for Tennessee, Martha Edwards, Texas, Dawn O'Connor, Washington, Northern Idaho, Mary Fry, Wisconsin, Linda Wren, West Virginia, Melissa Stanislawczyk, and for Wyoming, Western Nebraska, Phyllis Venu. 
Each incoming deputy grand regent will be invested with a black tassel at the annual convocation ceremony by the official visitor assigned to the annual conference. Congratulations to each of you. International board members are selected from coworkers who have earned the College of Regents degree. Their term of office is for a period of two years and each year, two new members are appointed. The Dean of the Academy of Friendship Board and the Presidents of the Star Recorder Board and College of Regents Board are appointed from the ranks of past international board members. It is the duty of the Dean and the Presidents to conduct the annual session for the conferral of their respective degree as well as preside over their annual meeting held in conjunction with the International Conference. Accepting appointments to the International Academy of Friendship Board are Elizabeth Parker from Lindsay, Ontario, Chapter 1105, Karen Yates from Covington, Kentucky, Chapter 985, and as Dean of the International Academy of Friendship Board from St. Albans, West Virginia, Chapter 857, Margaret Roach. Accepting appointments to the International Star Recorder Board are Deborah Price, Camarillo, California, Chapter 1957. Jamie Chauvin, Proctor, Minnesota, Chapter 585 and as president of the International Star Recorder Board from Morganton, North Carolina, Chapter 1382, Deborah Williams. Accepting appointments to the International College of Regents Board are Jeanette Borman, Newton, Iowa, Chapter 647. Deborah Gooch, Woodbury, New Jersey, 2295 and as president of the International College of Regents Board from Hayward Castro Valley, California, Chapter 934, Dina Monday. The Grand Council of the Women of the Moose is the policy-making board in all matters pertaining to the Women of the Moose, subject to the approval of the Supreme Council of the Loyal Order of Moose. Each year, Four co-workers are appointed to serve on the Grand Council for a two-year term of office. It is my pleasure to announce the names of the incoming Grand Council members. From Chehalis, Washington, Chapter 250, Suzanne Dinning. From Anchorage, Alaska, Chapter 139, Carolyn Connie Haas. From Kannapolis, North Carolina, Chapter 851, Sybil Jenkins. And from Texarkana, Texas, Chapter 1731, Bobby Kidd. Congratulations to all of you. Wherever you are, incoming Deputy Grand Regents, board members, and Grand Council members, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly pledge that I will faithfully perform the duties of the office to which I have been appointed. I promise that I will comply with the rules and regulations of the Women of the Moose and be ready to aid other coworkers when called upon. I will encourage coworkers to increase the membership of our chapters through membership building and retention. I further promise that I will serve the Women of the Moose and will uphold our program and all of its changes to the best of my ability. So help me God. Thank you. You may lower your hand. And again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you, Barb. Junior Past Supreme Governor Harry Johnston, you may now proceed to install the officers and committee men for the ensuing year that you heard General Governor Mike Lure read that have been dutifully elected by this body of delegates just moments ago.
those officers and committeemen and women who are present with us and watching the live broadcast, I ask you to raise your right hand and repeat after me using your name where I use mine. I, Harry Johnston, I do, most do most solemnly promise that I will diligently and faithfully Perform the duties of the position, the of the position to, which to which I have been elected or appointed. I hereby rededicate myself to the high ideals on which this noble fraternity was established. Thank you. You may lower your hand and return to your seats. Grand Regent Mary, will you please join me on camera? On behalf of the co-workers, Mary, I extend deep appreciation for the service you have rendered to the Women of the Moose as Grand Regent this past year. The Women of the Moose has had a most successful year under your leadership, and I know that you will continue to promote the international program of the Women of the Moose as a past Grand Regent and as a trusted advisor. Next year, you will serve the Women of the Moose as junior past Grand Regent and accordingly, will accept the pledge of support taken by every Grand Regent upon leaving office. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I sincerely renew my pledge. I sincerely renew my pledge to the women of the moose. To the women of the moose. That I will continue. That I will continue to diligently serve our fraternity. To diligently serve our fraternity and encourage chapters and encourage chapters to persist in their dedication to persist in their dedication to Moose Heart Moose Haven to Moose Heart and Moose Haven and to our programs of community service and to our programs of community service I further pledge I further pledge that I will always that I will always uphold the high ideals uphold the high ideals and principles of the and, women of the moose. And principles of the women of the moose. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. You may lower your right hand. Mary, as a token of our love and appreciation for your year of dedication to the Women of the Moose as Grand Regent, I am pleased to present you with the past Grand Regent's medallion that has been engraved on the back as a symbol of your office during the 2019-2020 chapter year. Thank you. Your turn. Whew. To all of you, I have had the pleasure of meeting in my travels. I am so grateful as I journeyed across our great nations from state to state, from conference to conference, I learned some interesting facts. I learned that each state is different and has its own unique features. I learned each state has its own beauty and its own landmarks and is rich in history. I learned each state is known for what it has to offer its residents or to its visitors. Yes, each state in Providence is different, yet the same. Each location has its own uniqueness and beauty 
yet each is connected to the next and blends at its borders with the next state or country. So it is with us. We may be from different locations and have our own uniquenesses, yet we are alike. Thank you to the members of the Grand Council and the international boards. I will cherish our time together and will hold your friendships very dear. We have worked hard this past year, and I will cherish the memories and the progress that we have made. Our year did not end as we would have liked. I sure did miss not being able to come together with all of you in Milwaukee. These last few months have been a big challenge for us all as we were never certain what tomorrow would bring. One thing is certain, we are a strong and determined fraternity and we seemed to find some excellent ways to stay connected and to keep each other going. The notes, cards, and phone calls, just to be sure we were all okay, were what kept me going. Thank you, one and all, for your thoughts and love. Thank you to the members of the Dakotas. You have given me so much love and support. All I had to do was ask, and you were there for me. No matter how big or how small the job was, you never hesitated. I am honored to call you all my friends. To the coworkers of Mitchell Chapter, I am honored to be a part of you. Your love and support mean the world to me. You are all the wind beneath my wings, and you have helped me to soar. I love you all. Thank you. Awesome job, Mary. Congratulations on a job well done. Thank you. Excellent. I now call to the podium Supreme Governor Rodney A. Hammond. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, um, what a year to serve as Supreme Governor, to be involved in uh, all that's going on in the world in this country, but also what's happening in the Moose family. And your leadership, Rodney, this year, uh, as every year that you've been on the Supreme Council has been absolutely amazing. Your wisdom and knowledge, your input, and your drive to make the moose as best as possible um, just really blows people away. I so much, and I said this before, I love being uh, in Florida as we celebrated you as Supreme Governor and the association voted to become a joint association. How you've been serving on the Stand as One Committee and to be able tonight to see that dream of a unified moose be realized in the 132 year history of our organization and to have this night be this special. Um, it's a testament to you, Rodney, as an individual and a leader in this fraternity. And so on behalf of the entire moose family, I would like to present to you this beautiful plaque that signifies Rodney A. Hammond as a past Supreme Governor you will be the last past Supreme Governor in title of the Supreme Lodge Loyal Order of Moose, May 26, right? We just didn't want to scratch that out, but it's obviously June 26, so one month later than we thought we were going to present this, with appreciation and sincere gratitude for invaluable service rendered. We'd also like to present you, give you that. Thank you. We have a uh, beautiful three diamond past Supreme Governor ring. Oh, wow. That I know you will wear proudly for many, many years to come. Thank you, Rodney. May God bless you. And I know you're going to stay heavily involved in this fraternity. I know Bruce is going to need a lot of support uh, going forward in his year. And I know you'll be right behind him and uh, appreciate you very much, brother. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. Any words that you would like to share? I'll just take this off the side right now. Any words you want to share? Somebody be sure to write down that knowledge and wisdom part that he talked about. <laughs> Brother Bruce, also known as uh, Burger King, I'm really glad for you to take over as Supreme Governor of the 2020-2021 year of the Moose. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not glad to be leaving the office, but I am glad that there's someone stepping in who is so capable, 
who will lead the fraternity as we begin to make the adjustments to a better way of doing things. This past year has given us many opportunities to respond to unheard of challenges. In spite of the issues, the moose, like always, has answered the call and made lemonade from lemons. I'm the eternal optimist, and I have no doubt that we are poised to enjoy greater success and provide more value to our members and communities. You do know the difference between an optimist and a pe pessimist, don't you? The pessimist says the glass is half empty. The optimist says the glass is half full. The moose says more ice. I kind of hope you folks at home sigh a collective groan at that. My, my humor is just sick enough to tell a corny joke or cheesy story and, and expect you to enjoy it. During my travels this year, I appreciate all the good moose that put up with my down-home manner and for not criticizing my disdain for standing on formality. Thanks to the men and women that welcomed me into their moose homes and provided such friendship and fraternalism. The deputy supreme governors and their wives kept me comfortable and on time. The association officers and membership department's field staff provided the planning and guidance that assured that the lodges were well prepared. I especially want to thank a couple of our supreme councilmen who've been a real part of my life for, for many years. Uh, supreme past governor Harry Johnston, my friend, my brother, and Brother John Ryder, who just seems to always keep me in line and remind me of the things that I don't quite do right. You know, it was over 40 years ago when I was just a normal working guy and a, a social member of Kissimmee Lodge, and a vacancy occurred in the secretary club manager office. In a weak moment, a very weak moment, I agreed to take over just until we could find someone for the job. Well, it turned into a Moose career for 20 years as, as administrator, 10 years working for Moose International, and another 10 years on this Supreme Council. This year that is finishing out one more realm of service can be summed up with the title of loving every minute of it. I promise to continue to serve the fraternity and maintain great enthusiasm in reaching the goals of the Moose, and I invite each of you to be a part of that continuing journey. God bless Moose Heart, Moose Haven, our lodges and communities, and God bless you. The Grand Regent is the presiding officer for the meetings of the Grand Council, International Boards, and the annual <coughs> excuse me, International Conference of the Women of the Moose. It is a pleasure to announce that the coworker who is receiving this honor is from Zephyr Hills, Florida, Yay! chapter 1682. The incoming Grand Regent is none other than Gloria Petrie. Please escort her to the podium. <laughs> Incoming Grand Regent Glory Petrie, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly and sincerely pledge. I solemnly and sincerely pledge to perform faithfully and willingly. To perform faithfully and willingly the duties of the office of Grand Regent. The duties of the office of Grand Regent. I will strive earnestly. I will strive earnestly to be worthy of your confidence to be worthy of your confidence, which has been entrusted to me, which has been entrusted to me, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. I will lead the co-workers and chapters, I will lead the co-workers and chapters, to greater heights in our fraternal program, to greater heights in our fraternal program, and will ever strive to increase the membership, and will ever strive to increase the membership of the women of the moose of the women of the moose through membership building and retention through membership building and retention i pledge to serve the women of the moose 
I pledge to serve the women of Duluth. And will uphold our program. And will uphold our program. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. You may lower your hand. The regalia of the Grand Region is the white cowl lined in purple and edged in red, which are the official colors of the women of the moose. The tassel is white. Junior past Grand Regent Mary, you may invest Grand Regent Gloria with the regalia of the Grand Regent. Brothers and co-workers, I take great pride in presenting to you the Grand Region of the Women of the Moose for the 2020-2021 term of office, Gloria Petrie. <laughs> Gloria, it is my privilege to present you with your symbol of authority, the gavel. Would you like to address the, the brothers and co-workers present? Wow, we are making moose history, one moose. This extraordinary change in our fraternity structure has been approved and will be effective May 1, 2021. What a great time to be a moose. Our theme this year, one moose, will help to grow our membership as a selling point when talking with prospective members, especially those under the age of 40. A main united organization is just the thing to attract younger members to our purpose of supporting Moose Heart and Moose Haven and the work we do in our communities. Until this historic change is effective, I encourage all, co-workers and brothers, men and women, to continue to socialize together, to work together, to volunteer together, and to aid and support our communities together. These are the things we have been doing and they are the things that make our fraternity what it is. Once in place as one moose, the doors to new leadership opportunities will be open to women. As we continue fulfilling our responsibilities to the Women of the Moose program, we should also be taking advantage of the educational opportunities on lodge operations and leadership. We want to be prepared to serve our One Moose Lodge to the best of our ability and with greater knowledge and understanding. 
Change is uncomfortable, but inevitable. Change is the only constant. We change every day by learning, teaching, sharing, and contemplation. As individuals, we will not be the same tomorrow as we are right now. We honor and celebrate the traditions of our fraternity and those who came before us. But we now must embrace the change necessary to meet the needs of the future of our fraternity and the security of Moose Heart and Moose Haven. This is the time to be open to the possibilities and prospects that change presents. Coworkers and brothers of Florida, you inspire me more than you realize, and you are always there with a helping hand and willing support. My husband, Tom, who has always encouraged my participation and dedication, had no idea what he was in for when he insisted I join the Women of the Moose. He does not regret insisting. The Women of the Moose has had a way of taking me outside my comfort zone over the years. They have surpassed themselves this time and put me on another planet away from my comfort zone. This includes standing before you today. I am so very grateful for the opportunity to lead the coworkers of the Women of the Moose into a new future, an equal future in our Moose homes. It is an honor to serve our coworkers and a privilege to serve our great fraternity. Thank you. Awesome, Glory. We are so excited for you and look forward to your leadership this year. Elected to the Office of Supreme Governor for the term of 2020-2021 is Brother Bruce J. Berger of Sellersville, Pennsylvania Lodge 1539. Brother Supreme Governor Berger, present yourself at the lectern in order that you may be officially installed into office. Well, Brother Bruce, or Burger King, or affectionately this past year from one of the fellow Supreme Councilmen as the Pre-Supreme, looks like we'll get rid of one of those titles at least. So, Bruce, place your left hand over your heart. Raise your right hand. State your name where I state mine, and then remain silent and attend to the obligation which you will assume in silence. I, Harry Johnston. I, Bruce J. Berger. In the presence of Almighty God and those here assembled, do most solemnly and sincerely reiterate and reaffirm all obligations heretofore taken by me in any and all units of the loyal order of Moose. I will support the Constitution and general laws of this fraternity and the mandates and orders of those in authority. I will, to the best of my ability, lead this fraternity to greater heights and continually strive to increase the membership of the Loyal Order of Moose. You will now repeat after me, to all of which, to all of which I, pledge myself I pledge myself on my most sacred honor. On my most sacred honor. Brother Director General, I present to you Supreme Governor Bruce J. Berger. Thank you, Brother Installing Officer Johnston. 
Brothers and co-workers, it is indeed an honor and a pleasure to present to you a past governor of Sellersville, Pennsylvania Lodge, 1539, elected to office by delegates attending the 132nd meeting of the Supreme Lodge and duly installed into office moments ago, the brother who will serve this fraternity in the highest elected office of our order during the year 2020-2021, Supreme Governor Bruce J. Berger. I really don't trust teleprompters, so I brought my own copy. But already I'm going to start off script. Uh, Supreme Governor Rodney Hammond, I thank you for the kind remarks that you have given me. I've tried my best and will continue on. I'm snoked right about now. Wow. What a tremendous honor it is to stand before you as your newly elected Supreme Governor. I will do my best to serve you all well. What a great time to be a moose. We have so many lodges doing so many things during the most challenging time in the midst of a pandemic. I have seen men members renovating their lodges, doing great things for their community and our country. Moose proud for sure. Also, our lodges are to be smoke free for a much better environment for all. To add to all of this, we are one moose. One moose, not in the mem just the membership campaign, but one moose in our fraternity. Many thanks to all of our delegates for approving the general law changes. One moose, men and women, on an equal stage with the same privileges. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is what moose do. That one's for you, Billy Doc. Our future looks very bright. This is our James J. Davis moment. Let me rephrase that. This is our one moose moment. What the leadership of Scott Hart, the Supreme Council, along with all of our members, our great fraternity, will be better and stronger than ever. It is our time to shine. And I know we can count on each and every one of you to make it happen. I would like to take this opportunity to thank and give a shout out to a few people. I would like to thank my lodge, my association, my district, and my Moose Legion for their continued support. Many thanks to my two families and friends. First, I will start out with my Illinois family. I would like to thank the Hart family, Mr. Hart, Mrs. Hart, John, Madison, Megan, Mackenzie, Jonah, Joshua, Blue, and I don't know how many chickens for opening their home and their hearts, allowing us to be part of them. I thank you so much. Many thanks to Phil and Carla Phoebus, Brian and Pam Tosecki, and my brother Timothy John, who did my nomination and my sister Brenda for their support. Last but not least, my four girls. My daughter Amanda, my grandbabies Mary and Violet, who have understood when Boppy had to go to a meeting. I'll be home in a couple days, girls. See you then. Finally, but not least, the lady who put up with all my shenanigans for almost 44 years. My bride, a.k.a. Queen Mom, Donna. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for always being by my side, and I love you all. I would like to leave you with this final thought. Who are these people, these doer of deeds, these dreamers of dreams who make us believe? Who are these people who still win the day when the odds are against them and strength fades away? They follow their dreams, though the journey seems far. From the top of the mountain, they reach out to a star. And when they touch it, when journey is done, they give to us hope from the victories they've won. So here's to the champions, to all their great deeds. They follow their hearts and become winners 
indeed. You are the champions, the men and the women of the greatest fraternity in the world, the Moose. Moose proud always. God bless Moose Heart. God bless Moose Haven. And God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for participating in our virtual convention and hope to see you all in Cincinnati. And I wish you all Godspeed. Thank you. So first thing I'm gonna ask you is to take off the ribbon and medallion and I would love and it's my honor to invest with you this ribbon and medallion with your name engraved on it and Supreme Governor to wear. Thank you, sir. As well as your gavel to oh, wield with boy. authority during the meetings, not at me. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, I sit close to you now. Donna, if you would <laughs> come up, please. We also have a bobblehead for Bruce and Philadelphia Eagles green. You know, he's a football. Yeah. Amanda wanted a Dallas Cowboys bobblehead. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, but we, we decided have, not, we not to do that. <laughs> Give that to you. And then also to. Bruce and Don, I'd like to present uh, you with this beautiful picture, picture framed picture that wow. inscribes Supreme Governor 2020-2021, Bruce and Donna Berger. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so All much. Right. Thank you. Congratulations. And if you would just hold here, we do have a special message, I think, that's coming over the airways about now. Dan? Watch the monitor. Hi, Bobby. Happy. Congratulations. Oh. We love you. Wah! Wah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Director kid. General, Moose International, and brothers and sisters all over the world, I would like to send a heartfelt congratulations to my dad, Bruce Berger, for becoming the Supreme Governor of, for the year 2020-2021 under the One Moose campaign. Dad, I am so proud of you for all the accomplishments that you have done within the Moose. I am extremely proud for this high honor for you since you have worked so hard and I am proud to stand by your side for this. I can't wait until you come home so we can celebrate. I love you. Yeah, that's Aww. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> that's our girls. We can go home now. We can go home now. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Congratulations, Bruce and Donna. We look forward to this year as we move into a brand new era in this Moose fraternity as one. As we wrapped up Las Vegas last year and said, until we see each other again in Milwaukee, <clears throat> who could have guessed that we would not be in Milwaukee and that we would be streaming our convention live over the internet? This has been a time of isolation and of anxiety, a time of mourning and a time when hope seemed to fade a time without fellowship and without traditional celebrations to mark our achievements. Much of what ahead of us in the weeks and months to come is unknown. What I can be certain of is that, that our time as one moose is here, a time to come together in equality with one voice, a time of confidence in what we can accomplish together, a time of continued hope for our communities, our moose heart children and our moose haven seniors a time for the moose to bring healing to the past and a promise to humbly serve everyone that God brings into our path. We aren't bound by history, but we look to it to teach us and learn from it. We continue, continue to do what moose does best and does best together. In the words of our founder, James J. Davis, no man or woman stands so straight and tall as when they stoop to lift up a child or senior. This is going to be an incredible year for the moose. I can't wait to get to Cincinnati. I hope that you're moose proud just as we are moose proud here. We can't wait to see you and the best is yet to come. From Ju June 30th through July 4th, 2021, our 133rd Interna 33rd International Moose Convention will be held in Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's take a look at where we're headed. People have been talking a bit about us lately. How we work, how we play, what we create, what we enjoy. But what do all these headlines really mean for us? Or for you? Great question. Let us show you around. Welcome to Cincinnati. Yeah, it's a beautiful place to be. 
When people come to visit, they can't help but get drawn in. It helps that we've got a compact downtown area, just 15 minutes from a major airport, the best airport in the U.S. Cincinnati is home to 10 Fortune 500 headquarters, loads of international brands, innovative startups, and entrepreneurs. So we've got a long history of global events, successful conventions, and really great parties, which is why we've made plenty of space for them. Somewhere artistic, somewhere fancy, somewhere historic, somewhere to take your breath away. No matter your style, we've got a place to fit. And you won't even have to go far when it's finally time to hit the hay. We've got you covered with brand new hotels joining our newly renovated stunning convention hotels, high-end boutique hotels, and all of them are just steps from the convention center. And of course, you'll want a bite to eat in between the meeting and sleeping. There are dining options everywhere. New hot spots, long-lasting classics, star chefs, even our chili parlors bring their A game. Hop on the Cincinnati Bell streetcar or just take a stroll around downtown. Each district has its own unique personality. Take in a game and local brew at the banks. Connect with friends and enjoy the night's entertainment at Fountain Square. Test your luck at Jack Casino or experience the eclectic flair of a revitalized and growing over the Rhine and all with restaurants and shopping to match. And when we said stroll, we meant it. These entertainment districts are just blocks from the city center and convention center. And once you've had a bite to eat, it's time for some fun. Sports? Oh yeah, we do sports. Reds baseball, Bengals football, world-class tennis, NASCAR, golf, not to mention the Queen City's professional soccer club, FC Cincinnati. To put it simply, there's a lot that Cincinnati can do. And there's one thing we can do that's particularly important. We can deliver. Excellent meeting facilities, a great attendee experience, and a hospitality community that loves welcoming people to our city. And no matter where you look, it's obvious. From hotels to food to entertainment and more, people have been talking about Cincinnati for good reason. So come for a visit. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Awesome. I'm going to try something here. OH. 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 We're headed to Ohio. If you would please rise to give our closing prayer, I now call to the podium our Supreme Prelate, Paul Curtis. Let us fold our arms and bow our heads. Almighty Father, we thank you for the many things that we have learned during the course of this international convention. We ask a special blessing on our fraternal leaders and staff as they face the many challenges that confront us. We ask that you continue to bless and keep us safe as we conclude this virtual convention. We further ask that each person be blessed with a renewed spirit of fraternalism and recommit themselves to the goals and ideals of the moose. Keep all of us devoted to the effort and work that will be necessary to make our purpose a reality, to the end that we glorify you. To those assuming new roles or offices tonight, be cautioned that you walk this road but once with God. So walk it wisely with integrity. Be productive and set an example for the next person to follow you. We thank you for the friendships renewed and made during this virtual convention and ask that you bless Moose Heart and Moose Haven and protect them from harm. We rely on scripture for the knowledge that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Amen. You know, this uh, virtual convention has certainly been something new for all of us. Uh, we have had the opportunity to kind of look behind the curtains and watch all the equipment that's been done for this. And 
I'd like to thank Dan Rollins and CCR Solutions for providing all the technical uh, equipment and expertise to get this done. Also to all the Moose International staff that's worked so hard to make everything run so smoothly. And just, I don't think anybody can deny that this is the very best virtual convention we've ever had. I now declare the 132nd meeting of the Supreme Lodge and 108th Women of the Moose Conference officially adjourned. Woo!